Hey, everybody, it's Dwayne, developer evangelist at Get Kraken, and I am here with two awesome individuals uh, to talk about the project they're working on. Oh, my Git. We'll get to that in a minute, but uh, you want to go ahead and introduce yourselves? Sure. Um, hi, I'm Leap Track. Uh, I'm a, a creative technologist, and I really enjoy doing like open source projects also in the creative coding department. And I'm Blinden Wee. I do a lot of like independent programming and design work, like to do game jams, to do like interactive and um, creative coding stuff as well. And we both run over each other in in Germany on some like tech communities, I guess. Well, right on. Uh, so you come together and you're working on a project called Oh My Git. For those of you, the people that are watching this video that haven't run into that project yet, uh, or that game yet, I should say, uh, could you give us a quick, super high level overview of what it is and what the mission is for the project? Yeah, I mean, it's designed for really people who are relatively new or really, really new, absolutely new to Git to learn the the basics, I guess, in an interactive and hopefully fun way by giving them some puzzle-like levels where you like have to solve a certain certain time travel puzzle and then you have an, a visualization of the of the status of the Git repository and can use playing cards to interact with it. And our hope is that that will help, especially like young people and newcomers to the scene to help custom to it because we think, yeah, knowing how to use Git is really valuable. Can you tell us a little bit about where it came from? Like, how did how did you come together to actually start working on this? What was that original meeting like? I think this all started a bit out with uh, Blindry's first idea, because I think you started working on a similar game idea while you were at university, right, So That's right. And mm -hmm. uh, in Germany, we have a very nice uh, funding opportunity for open source software, which is called Prototype Fund. And Blindry, like, um, yeah, applied with the idea to make this into a proper, nice educational game. And when it got accepted, Blindry asked me if I wanted to join because we were at that time, like already doing fun little projects together. And yeah, this is how it came to the world. Where are you in the development now? Like, obviously, you have a, a playable game. People can go to ohmygit.org and get their hands on it and play it, get the source code and, and start messing around with it. Uh, but where do you feel you're at with the project? Do you feel it's like a finished game? Or is there a lot more that you're looking forward to add before you would call it done? I would say, so the funding was in 2020 and 2021 for six months, basically. That was the funding period given out by the Ministry of Education and Research. And the goal we had in mind back then was to have some finished product in the end of the funding phase, I would say, which like were relatively bug-free, relatively complete in terms of content or was working. So that was like the framework we had in mind and which we worked towards. And after the funding ended, I guess we are doing like, it's a, it's kind of a maintenance phase, right? Where sometimes people like come to the GitHub repository and like make certain corrections, find typos, to have a lot of feature requests. <laughs> what are the future plans though? What additional levels are going to be added any new interface for it or anything like that i think the biggest point that we are currently missing is to have a very like well thought of multilingual setting because currently it's it's like it's, it's built to be in english um, but we had a lot of um, issues open on the github that people wanted to start translating it and we so far don't have a proper mechanism to do it in a multilingual way that makes sense so that's the that's the biggest point that we want to add like in the near future i'd say especially when people want to use it in schools with school children we think that's uh, like a, a barrier for some people who don't speak english very well to be able to to understand the tool and there are some people in the community who have already like very kindly offered to translate it to spanish or to italian for example and we're super excited about that and would love to see translations and yeah that's definitely something we would like to to work on to be able to translate it okay. <laughs> but that's uh, excellent but that actually is a good segue to the next uh, question and that is well you are running a community a open source project and community at the same time do you have any advice for folks that are thinking about open sourcing their project or starting to lead a community any any stories you could share about you know maybe some of the steps and things you've learned along the way 
Mm. One thing that has worked well for us, I think, is involving them really early, um, even before we started coding. Um, when the like before the funding started, we wanted to find out what people wanted to see from such a game and what their what their wishes were, what they wouldn't like to see in such a game, and we basically made a, like a little survey around those questions and tried to spread that into communities which we were where we were active. And I think that worked out really well, right, uh, Beatrix? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that was really helpful. We could often refer to to those like those data both for like inspiration and for future ideas, and also to find people wanted to help uh, better test. So we had a little checkbox where we we asked, "Would you like to help uh, test this game and try it out and give your feedback?" And then we like could just always pull some some new piece of person out of the hat and have them in a video conference. Anything you wish you'd have known sooner when you started this project? I'd say we maybe underestimated a bit how time consuming maintenance can be, let's say. I don't, I don't know, maybe you think different of that, but at least I underestimated that, that uh, yeah, um, like reviewing issues and, and yeah, right. thinking cool. about problems that might arise that we have, didn't have thought, uh, thought on, like after the um, funding phase was very time consuming and I, yeah, I, I thought we would maybe like take an hour every out of every two weeks or something, but to, to do this properly, it would take a lot more time actually. And in later projects, we like made the choice to reserve some of the funding for the project for this maintenance phase. Having, we sometimes think we could like look for like some other funding sources for more court funding to do that more actively, be able to put more time into it. Yeah. Excellent. There definitely always is a need for funding for any project like this. Um, and thank you so much for taking it on, knowing that this is a labor of love. Um, your maintenance costs covered, uh, or maintenance costs might be covered in a project like this, but really, I think that's the way most open source works, is you're doing it because you saw a need and are really doing it for the bigger picture of helping people learn Git. And we think that's really, really awesome. How do you think people could best help with the project right now? What's the best route for people to get involved and make an impact with Oh My Git? Yeah, I'd say there's maybe two points. So we tried to um, make our uh, level files as easily accessible as possible. So it's quite easy to write on levels. So if someone is super into, I don't know, uh, puzzle design, um, this person could have a lot of fun creating new levels for Oh My Git. And besides, we are also always still thinking on porting the game in some form for a web. So if a person has a very good idea on how we could do that, this would be very helpful. It would be so much easier to, to access it, yeah, if you don't have to download it and run it locally, just have it in, on the web. And it's quite important to us that we do have a real Git implementation in the game, right? Not just some re-implementation and some some simulation of how, how the Git command line works, for example. We want to have the full thing and embedding that into the web. We ha haven't really found a good fast way to do that. So oh my Git, they can go to ohmygit.org and get their hands on it and start playing it today. What would be your best advice for someone that's going to visit that for the first time? What would you tell someone that you know is going to be playing it for the very first time? I would advise um, a bit more attention to the the command line part maybe of the game there is all these like graphical possibilities you can use to interact with the game like using the, the playing cards and clicking and dragging on things um but we also like have this little bonus on top of it where if you solve a level via the command line only you get this uh, golden badge for, for the level and i think like um trying to to do that for most chapters would be would be a fun fun thing and help you remember things better. Yeah. And then last, I always like to give people a chance to plug op uh, other open source projects or other projects that they think need a little more attention out there, or something that's near and dear to your heart that pe more people should know about. Then maybe I would suggest uh, Blinary's latest project, uh, which was a very fun creative coding playground where you can code visuals uh, only 
um, by using HTML sliders. <laughs> I even like <laughs> won a little award at a demo scene event, and I found it super fun to play with. It's called Sliderland. Uh, maybe you can give us a link to that as well. We'll put that in, in the description. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, and for everybody out there, go over to ohmyget.org and play this game. It is really fun. And if you think, oh, I could help build a level there or would like to get involved, uh, you can find all the links on that page as well to get involved. So thank you very much for being with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dwayne. Thanks for having us. Nice to meet you.